Number 29 When Alexandra went exploring an abandoned schoolhouse in Ukraine, she never expected to go viral. On the first floor is a discarded tracksuit outside of a hole in the floor that looks like it could serve as the final resting place for many. They also find a green barrel that's full of an unknown chemical. They can't read the faded label, but maybe a subscriber in Russia will know more about this. It could be acid. I've heard of people dissolving the past away in barrels full of acid just like this one. Across from a green barrel are footprints, and across from the footprints are pictures of people. <laughs> Alexandra pauses at the stairs. I think this video is 100% real because Alexandra does this thing some people do when they're really scared where they talk to themselves out loud to keep from completely breaking down. With that said, I'm not sure this video is paranormal. The noise could be someone staying here. A scary person who I'm sure you and I would want nothing to do with. A man who countless others likewise wish they had never seen. Number 28 If you have a chance to visit a former institute, don't. Published by Steve Ronan in October of 2021, this pair of scary videos will send you running for the hills. In the first video, Ronan talks about how Lechtworth is where unethical testing was done on patients. When journalists exposed this, the place was shut down. As he's putting on some gear later, he hears someone near. He thinks it's Mo. Mo? Another sound is heard and it doesn't seem to be the crew. Okay, someone else has to come with me because I legit heard something. What the f You okay? okay that wasn't me. They think it came from an adjacent room. The paranormal activity ramps up when one of the crew thinks he saw a person. They are later walking down a hallway when a door either opens or closes behind them. Like someone or something walking outside. God. They catch the sound on two separate cameras. Walking outside. <gasps> Off. As they continue moving through Lechtworth, a sound like a rock being thrown occurs to their left. But what's this door? What the f <laughs> They then attempt to open the doors ahead and something shuts the door on one of them. The thing in here. What was that? What? You look like shut the door on me. It literally just shut the but it's coming behind the door. There's someone actually behind the door. They pry the door open again to see if there's someone inside, but it's an empty room. As they're wondering if someone fled through the window, their answer arrives in the form of the door slamming shut. What the f Yo! It's hard. It won't open and they call out for Mo to push from the other side. Mo manages to kick the door open and they're all relieved to be out of that room. They then talk to the spirits, asking them to come in contact again, and the spirits answer in kind. 
That was your way of making contact with us. Can you do it again? Yo! They race down the hallway, fleeing for their lives. But before they do, they look in this room one more time, finding it empty again. Something starts banging loudly and repeatedly in the dark hallway. Go through the window. The bushes are rumbling too. Still nothing to be seen as they're heading to the stairs toward the creepy basement. A creaky door is heard opening and closing. It's gonna take us to the basement. Yo. Who is that? In the team's second video, they explore the basement, which they soon discover is just as creepy as the floor above. They attempt to speak with the demons using a phone EVP. As they're communicating, another bang is heard behind them. Are you angry right now? <laughs> when they start challenging the demons to slam a door shut, things get a little crazy, claiming he saw the door shake a little. Two minutes. Okay. Okay. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Most soon starts to get woozy. Oh, I'm feeling weird though. Oh. Bo? 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 I'm feeling lightheaded. Dude, your face got all pale. Pale faced, Mo says he feels dizzy and lightheaded and so sits down for a moment. They're heading down the stairs when Mo gets dizzy again and falls to the ground. Later, he is not being himself and becomes aggressive with the rest of the crew. Where is he? I don't know, man. Just be careful. He's not himself. Has Mo become possessed? Guess that's what happens when you start challenging demons. Number 27 if you happen upon a site where a sacrificial ritual was performed, run far, far away. YouTube channel, Si Investiga Casadores de Lendas, was exploring this abandoned place when they came across just such a site. They enter a room with lifeless animals and a pentagram on the wall. On the ground is a ponytail of hair and candles. There is a burnt animal skull on the wall. As coisas apareceram aqui. Foi da última vez também que ele apareceu de ponta cabeça aqui na parede. E as they're in this creepy room, they hear a noise. Soon their flashlights start to go haywire, and when the light turns back on, a demon has taken hold of one of them. Meu lanterna quer acender também. Nossa, que... Olha aqui. Meu Deus! Que que é isso, Adriano? Que que é isso, cara? Que que é isso, velho? Later, they return to the room and see this. While it's not clear to me what this demon clown is or what the creature in black wanted from them, one thing is clear, they shouldn't be here. Number 26 a team of paranormal experts head to the abandoned county jail in Gonzales, Texas to prove it is really haunted. After exploring for a while, all of them agree that they are feeling an intense anger for no real reason. Finally, one of them decides to confront whatever is responsible for causing their heightened emotional state. We've been feeling a lot of anger, and I want to know why. The question is met with even greater anger in return. You right? <laughs> According to them, an invisible hand slides around his throat and tightly squeezes. The retching noises he makes afterwards seems very real. <laughs> he runs out of the building and his eyes appear red and watery immediately afterwards. I feel the pressure right now on my neck. Look at your- man, you gotta see your eyes. Come up the screen so you can see your eyes, man. Look at your eyes. Unless he is somehow able to give himself fully red eyes on command, all of this evidence makes me believe that this ghost incident could have been real. Number 25 
Published to YouTube by Proving Demons in May of 2020, you might want to call your local exorcist after watching this video. The uploader explains that the house they entered is known to have been the site of an exorcism, and they were exploring it to capture paranormal activity. He writes, while experiencing heavy poltergeist activity, I could feel the demon inside trying to possess me as it did the previous owner, who is now insane in a mental institution. From that point, our ghost hunt took a turn for the worst. Let's take that turn with them. After hiking up to the abandoned building and entering through a crawl hole, the crew finds the inside looks like a surreal art shed. Colorful paper lanterns hang, arrows are pointing every which way, all natural light in the place is framed by gothic windows. At first, the general aura of the place is curious rather than creepy. There are lots of scraps of paper posted to a board, a large map, a guitar hanging on one wall. As one YouTuber Lavender Rainbow points out, there's a pamphlet on the wall. Later in the clip at 16 minutes 29 seconds that reads, Bipolar Disorder Survival Guide. So maybe the person living here was trying to seek psychiatric help. You find yourself wishing you were there, so you might examine things up close and learn more. But then the crew hears a woman screaming. They head towards a back room, with one of the dudes mentioning that they hadn't even made sure they were alone in this building. In fact, the building looks very lived in, not abandoned. There's what looks like a bed in the next room with blankets on it, a full backpack beside it, clothes hanging. Are they alone? He continues into the next room, hearing others inside, but it turns out just to be his own crew. You can hear a lot of sounds and things moving, like there are animals on the roof. Next, the door closes behind him by itself. They use the EVP to see if anyone's there in the home with them. The quick reply is yes. They also hear the words, demon. As well as a warning, get out now. The demon tells them they have no right to be there. Andrew says he's starting to feel affected and his hands are shaking. And moments later, something falls off the shelf. Even scarier are the Polaroids that they find of what appears to be an authentic exorcism or ritual of some sort. What do you think went on in this makeshift cathedral of a home? A possession? Would you feel comfortable in the demon's skin? Number 24 A ghost hunting channel in India called Yakayatha knows of a haunted railway where plenty of lives have been lost and therefore plenty of paranormal evidence to be found. K2 meter in hand, they walk down the paranormal path and wait for a sign. Occasionally, they feel watched and stop to scan the horizon, but nothing is there. Soon, a general feeling of unease becomes so unbearable that they stop to put down the K2 meter. They know a life was lost here and a ghost is nearby. They can feel it, and then... The ghost hunters aren't surprised to see the K2 meter spike hard for the very first time all night. They stand around for a long time staring into the darkness and getting nothing on camera. But just when they're about to give up... Kabir bhai, saamne dekho. Kahan pe? Jaisi bhai. They go a few steps forward but stop when they realize the ghost has disappeared, or at least that's what they claim. They should have kept running if they wanted to prove it really was a ghost, but they were so creeped out by that point that maybe they didn't want to. It's easy to say that this is fake because they don't go forward far enough, but you never know how you'd react until you're the one having a ghost sighting. This paranormal ghost sighting video could be real. Number 23 While most hospitals have some stories to tell, I'm guessing a World War II hospital has even more grisly ones on the docket. In this video, published by Subi in November of 2017, he and his friends explore an abandoned World War II hospital in Milton, Keynes. 
For some reason, they chose the dead of night for their exploration. So straight off the mark, the hospital looks scary, simply because it's cloaked in darkness. The only guiding light is the beam from Subi's flashlight. The crew enters in through a broken window. The pair have apparently been in the hospital before because one of them says he's not going down a certain direction because that's where they hear things all the time. At one point, they stop to listen because they both say they've heard something. It isn't clear what they've heard, but they continue on regardless. It sounds as if there's loads of glass on the ground as they walk through the building, cracking and breaking the shards beneath their boots. While the hospital doesn't turn up anything truly mind-blowing, the idea that World War II patients were once brought here conjures up images of scary times. Or maybe that's just my imagination. Number 22 there's a scary haunted tunnel in Pakistan that MMTV wants to go exploring to see what creepy things he can find inside. Exploring a haunted tunnel in the desert at night by yourself, what can go wrong? Apparently a lot. Start me, ya Allah khair. A sparkling cloud of mist lingers around him. Spirits he suspects. First it travels in one direction, disappears and comes back to guide him towards the tunnel. That's really weird, but some downright scary things are caught on camera when he goes to the entrance, like this red stain on the ground that shapes the outline of a person. Strange, unexplained lights give him pause, and you can say whatever you want about this freakishly deep laughter. It's not the wind. The wind doesn't blow tires. He gets out of there fast, not wanting to face whatever is haunting this strange place. And when he takes one last glance at the entrance, he spies movement from above. Something wants to follow him home. After all of these scary moments, I would say yes, this tunnel is haunted. Number 21 Dan Sedrin is a paranormal investigator who calls this next video one of the scariest places he's ever explored. Just thinking back on the place makes his eyes go wide with fear. We decided to hit Blue Ghost Tunnel. It's one of the most haunted places um, in all of Southern Ontario and it definitely lived up to the hype. He and his two friends, Nicole and Jenna, appear calm and relaxed when he first starts exploring the Blue Ghost Tunnel in Ontario, Canada. It was tough to get here. I had to go through the woods, but um, we're gonna keep exploring. But halfway through exploring the tunnel, he claims to see some kind of paranormal activity. No, look at the blue mist. Nicole and Jenna are reluctant to go any further as some kind of mist wraps around Dan and moves ahead of him. It's getting really hot out of the hole. Dan? Yeah. I just want to touch the beam. And then we're done. Okay, hold up. He bravely takes a few steps forward and knowing his friends are already scared, challenges them to turn off their flashlights for 10 seconds. Turn off your lights. Just turn off your lights. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Okay. Scary voices seem to be whispering a message at them from the darkness and they get out of the tunnel fast. It's scary enough to make one of them nearly lose their mind. What did you guys hear? Cause it was like a... Um, it was like a... Uh, yeah, but it was like... It's like a person, like, a, like an old person, like, like a growl, like not a growl, but like, like look at my hand. Oh, you're shaking. Yeah. <laughs> you're really shaking. Let's go. <laughs> let's, okay, all right, let's go. Let's, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. 
That kind of fear is impossible to fake, so while this may or may not be a real ghost, we can at least agree that they were genuinely afraid. Number 20 while investigating this demon house, YouTube team KBC Cazadores de Fantasmas encounters a real-life demon. In the wilderness, they start to get a wild EMF reading. Um, I'll cut this one off. Then they break out a thermal camera and capture this. Grace. Grace, down, Grace. Oh? The mountain heat of the storm boys and you on the wall. And they later captured the devil in their spirit box session. Oh, job. Follow her. Man. Yeah, he's scared. Yeah. They also take a photo in which something spooky is captured. These are just the grounds of the demon house. I feel that there's definitely something haunting this property, but we'll have to tune into the final episode of the series to find out. Number 19 a ghost hunting YouTube channel called Spartan Hunters 2 explores the narrow stone corridors of the old Paulding County Jail in Ohio for any signs of the afterlife. As soon as they turn the corner, they hear something that sends shivers down my spine. Did you hear that? What was that? I don't know. What was wow. An anguished scream cries out from deep within the jail complex, which I'm sure most of you heard, but did you hear the creepy laughter that follows the scream? Listen really closely and you can make out the faint echoes of laughter bouncing off the walls. It happens right after he says, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Number 18. While investigating the haunted Bel Air house, Sonny finds that the stories are true. Sonny's experience there gets off to a rocky start. The crew starts to sense things and hear things. Oh my What? Oh man, Sonny was coming up. You cheating, why you got your light on? I well, I was trying to come down the steps. You got your light on too. Y'all up here like a bunch of to turn your light off. My light is off. And then footsteps. Came over here. Sounded like footsteps, but I think uh, maybe picking up Christmas. But do they belong to his crew, or is someone unseen closer than he thinks? Either way, I think it's time to find the exit of this place. Number 17 The Jordanian Ghost Hunter, known only as Mr. Harith, is back at it again with more scary stuff caught on livestream video, this time while exploring an abandoned house once inhabited by an alleged witch. This could be one of his friends, but each time he looks in the room the witch was just in, the figure has disappeared. Things get really weird when this ghost caught on live stream mysteriously disappears as well. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. La 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 la. 
راح والله راح بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This might have been caused by a live stream delay except it doesn't drop frames and the resolution stays the same the ghost witch is simply there one second and gone the next Number 16 a YouTube channel called Nathan's Jung Shen goes exploring at an abandoned house in Nepal. One with a twist. This is where his grandfather used to live until he succumbed to medical problems, at which point this place in the woods became haunted. It's a long and treacherous walk through the forest to get there. A fallen tree is the only way to cross the river, and he keeps thinking something is behind him multiple times. The house is old and sinking and taken over by bats long ago. He sets up a second camera to catch any activity outside of the house, and then he steps inside. Suck. At the exact moment, Nathan thinks he hears something moving nearby. The outside camera detects the movement of a shadowy figure, a ghost in the window. Could this be his grandfather coming to say hello? <laughs> After that, Nathan begins hearing strange noises that you never want to hear coming from the woods. He knows he isn't alone at this point and goes outside to check the second camera for paranormal evidence. Some kind of object falls over by itself from deeper inside the house. Almost like the ghost of his grandfather doesn't want him to leave just yet. Or maybe the bats knock something over. Either way, the timing is creepy. Nathan senses something above and shines his flashlight at the roof. He doesn't see anything. And I'm sure you don't either, but keep watching this area because you will. He inverts the colors with a special filter, and within the negative image you'll see a head pop up at 25 minutes and 52 seconds, and then something runs across the roof. He is in some scary woods, so this could have just been a wild animal, but considering this is the final resting place of his grandfather, it could be his long lost relative watching him leave. Tell me what you think he caught on camera that night. Number 15. A scary video of paranormal investigation shows what kind of creepy stuff can happen when exploring abandoned places goes wrong. Dan of a paranormal investigation channel called Paranormal Encounters UK explores a haunted hotel that is a hotbed of paranormal activity. He explores the lobby and goes upstairs. Past a rope, he finds two empty glasses at the counter. Kind of like somebody was preparing to take their own life. Dan calls out to no one in particular and captures a ghost on camera that could be a bug. Hello? Next, he explores a room with lots of mysterious lights. The longer he stays, the more light seems to appear. He talks about how before becoming a haunted hotel, this place used to be a girl's school. So maybe there is a little ghost girl watching from the hallway. Nothing else happens until 18 minutes later when he explores a different room. This is the part of the paranormal investigation where he addresses anyone nearby directly. If there's any spirits, if there's any ghosts, anything in this room right now that wants to make contact with me. Only when he looks through the camera does he realize spooky ghost orbs have been following him all along. What reflection? Oh my thoughts why so coming towards me then. Ghost orbs which fly into him repeatedly. If you believe in the paranormal, then you will probably see this as spirits attaching themselves to a living host. 
In other words, a possession. If you are a skeptic, then to you this is not a ghost sighting, merely dust. Number 14 a ghost hunting channel called American Phantom Hunters have been exploring haunted places for decades, and this paranormal investigation is one of their creepiest videos yet. The Palmer House in Minnesota is a haunted hotel that was rebuilt after a terrifying fire took many lives. Some people never checked out and still roam the hallways as a ghost. Mysterious sightings of paranormal activity are said to terrify any ghost hunters who dare to investigate the haunted hotel. There always seems to be a ghost slamming doors and moving objects, whispering voices in dark hallways, and even a little ghost girl who bounces a ball down the stairs late at night. American Phantom Hunters begin their paranormal investigation by carefully setting up ghost hunting equipment at one of the most haunted places in the whole hotel. The stairs where a little ghost girl likes to push a ball down late at night. Within minutes, their carefully calibrated paranormal equipment is detecting electromagnetic activity from a nearby ghost, perhaps the little girl herself. Can you come back up? 296. I got it on film. Can you come to these steps? Can you stand on these stairs? One eighty eight. Mm. Right next to it. Two pieces of paranormal equipment independently verify the presence of a ghost. The large blue screen displays a black bar that represents movement, in this case a ghost girl running up the steps. Their paranormal investigation yields results as their questions are answered quickly and in time. Can you touch that device again? Forty, thirty. Something just went by on that meter, too. And this digital thermometer detects a drop of 3 degrees from 75 degrees to 72 degrees, paranormal evidence of a chilling effect as a ghost passes by. At this point, the supernatural energy is so prevalent that one of the ghost hunters has their phone mess up and display the wrong year entirely. She is unable to access any of the paranormal evidence on her phone while standing at these stairs. They set up a spirit box to capture any scary ghost EVPs on tape, and that's when the strange knocking noises begin. Can you touch that yellow device on the stairs for me real quick? Thank you. Accompanied by the scary whispering voices of a little ghost girl. Whoa, whoa. At times, the EVP sounds like they are coming from the spirit box, but at 6 minutes and 25 seconds, the scary voice whispers may be right into the camera from behind. Hey! Can you come down the stairs? They try to talk to the little ghost girl some more and manage to capture these spooky EVPs on tape. How are you? <laughs> Do you care if I go upstairs? I mean... Wait. Okay. After gathering enough evidence, they decide to leave the haunted hotel, and so they say their paranormal goodbyes, but as they are leaving, they hear a voice whisper something scary in the darkness. They hear the word castle, but I hear cast down. What do you think this scary voice is whispering? Either way, the fact that they hear the EVP outside of the house is a terrifying sign because it means something could have attached itself to them. So something tells me they aren't exactly safe. Number 13 A father and his two children explore this abandoned house as a strange way to bond together, but I think it might have ended up ripping them apart. They cross into the dark kitchen and immediately hear a wild growl followed by low whispers and a pair of glowing eyes. They are hurrying out of the house as fast as they can, but debris is everywhere, and they have to move slow. Just when they are about to leave, they find the way blocked by their absolute worst fears. The thin ghoul is barely reminiscent of a human. Its features wide and dark and taking up large portions of its face. Its eyes and nose are missing. Its mouth nothing more than a wide cavern, extending from cheek to cheek. 
Number 12. If you're looking to have night terrors for weeks and jump scares for days, have I got the Scream Fest for you. This clip was posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Exploring with Eric. In the video, the crew is exploring an abandoned house. The interior is in disarray. Fresh markings are painted on the walls. As they attempt to communicate with spirits in the home, one crew member asks the spirit to knock once if he wants them to leave. No answer, but he asks once again to knock before they leave to let them know he is there. He demonstrates by knocking on the wall, and this time the spirit answers. Listen closely, his response is distant, but you can hear it distinctly. The spirit knocks back, and hopefully this video is proof that the crew live to tell the tale. Can you do that? Can you do that? Okay. Number 11. Some haunted places are meant to be left alone. The Old Washoe Club in Virginia City, Nevada is one of them. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by I'm the Cat Daddy. This video footage explores the Washoe Club in one of the nation's first industrial silver mining cities of the Old West. Prospectors arrived during the mid to late 19th century in order to stake their claim, and with money came the need to spend it. That's where the old Washoe Club came in, also known as the Millionaire's Club. This was a place where anything goes, with one main entrance and two secret entrances to keep the VIP's secret shenanigans under wraps. The Washoe Club also doubled as a holding cell for the passed away. At least one room did as passed on individuals were placed there until grave diggers were able to properly bury. With such a sordid history, of course, myths and legends are abound. Three ghosts are said to haunt the place. A blonde apparition called the Lady in Blue haunts a spiral staircase. A small ghost girl is somehow lost there. And lastly, a prospector causes trouble around the bar, disappearing drinks that are left unattended, and drinking the shots that the bartenders leave for him when they close for the night. This video doesn't show these full-bodied apparitions but does unveil a paranormal incident. As the Redditor explains, he and some army buddies decide to explore the Washoe Club for paranormal activity. He writes, We were told by a few ladies who ran an occult store in Sparks, Nevada, to look out for a dark entity named Steve. He apparently likes to close doors in a room called the Red Room. Though not in this video, during an EVP session in the club, they asked for a name and received Steva in response, and that wasn't the ghost's only response. As one of the bros provokes the ghost and asks it to answer them, a nearby door starts to close on its own. The men start screaming and flee the scene. The Redditor says they all felt Steve's presence in the club, and he continued to slam doors as they collected their gear. They also felt their jackets being tugged on and a finger ran up one guy's back. I was thinking you probably shouldn't provoke a ghost like this, and many in the comments agree with that statement, while others who also investigated the club attest to similar paranormal happenings there. Is this place next on your paranormal bucket list? I think I'm gonna stay very far away from this place. Number 10. These friends travel to an abandoned church in Wales that gives all three of them a sinister feeling before anyone steps foot inside. It may have been nice when it was first built, but with ivy growing up the side and dirty water pooling around the foundation, this church looks corrupted, the perfect place for spirits to roam. That is proper evil looking church. The inside looks trashed by partiers, cans everywhere. They think they can hear faint church bells in the wind, but unfortunately nothing picks up on camera. Still, the feeling that they are not alone only grows more persistent with every step, and as they cross a large empty room in ruins, commenting on how evil it feels, they do pick up two anomalies. But look, evil. The fact done. Dare I say a really good job of like securing it though. I'm almost positive that the first anomaly was a lens flare caused by light coming through the window, but the second sighting, the shadow person is much odder. Really good job of 
I would say that this is his shadow except there is no lower half, so it might not belong to anyone in the group, or anyone alive for that matter. Number 9 Another poltergeist is haunting an abandoned church, and this one isn't so playful. Published to YouTube in July of 2021, this abandoned church has some supernatural visitors. Inside the church, amongst the whistling in the wilderness, something thuds nearby. The boys hold still, trying to listen for more unexplained noises. Moments later, they are standing there, casting light on the wall, when a distant, low-pitched moan is heard in the background. Well, in what looks like a basement space with lots of old items stored, a blast of sound is heard in the next room. Something heavy and out of sight was thrown on the ground. As the boys attempt to speak to the spirit, another strange moan sounds faintly. Yeah. And then a couple of shelf doors are slammed shut with great force. In another area of the haunted church, several small successive thuds are followed by a strange double beep. They quickly get away from that space. Later, when peeking around a corner, a cabinet door slowly closes. <laughs> Whatever is closed isn't caught on camera. Not long after, a big heavy door slowly opens, before being jarringly half shut. They approach the door. There is nothing on the other side. As the scary video wraps up, one of the crew is taking in a dark room when they hear a faint noise in the darkness. They look over, shining a light there but find nothing. What is following them through this church? Perhaps a demon that couldn't be redeemed? Number 8 German ghost hunter Kibanito goes exploring an abandoned haunted house. For one of the scariest 3am videos I've analyzed in quite some time, the haunted house has long been abandoned in the woods. Getting inside is quite a chore because an unsafe wooden ladder is missing many steps. Inside is a dark and heavy feeling that makes them whisper nervously. A missing section of wall shows a hidden room under the steps. They hear a loud noise and run outside, but they didn't come here to get scared off in the first few minutes, so they continue the 3 a.m. paranormal investigation and go in. This time, they manage to get upstairs and come to a door painted solid black at the end of a long, dark hall. They are beyond freaked out, but nobody wants to quit. So against their better judgment, they open the door. In this decrepit little bedroom, they find a warning written on the dresser. I feel like it's a warning about a ghost, but the Google translation is so off that I won't even bother telling you what it says. If any of my German subscribers could tell me what this means, I would really appreciate it. The second word definitely looks like stop. They start to prod the door open but cannot bring themselves to. It's probably for the best. Who knows what was in there? Probably nothing good. There's one room left to check out on the top floor. This room looks like it's seen a lot of party action. It might even still be inhabited by some. 
They start to worry about the floor breaking, and that's when it might actually start to. <laughs> A snapping noise sends them all running out of the house before their 3 a.m. challenge becomes a 3 a.m. rescue. Number 7 Samuel Porter lives near an abandoned house that he wants to explore, so he and his friends take a short walk and soon find themselves standing outside of its gnarled wooden door. Someone has gone to great lengths to keep trespassers away. The door is locked and the window they get in through is covered in barbed wire. The inside of the old cottage is filthy and collapsing. Large sections of the floor have been eaten away, but they curiously press on. Samuel Porter pokes his head through a hole in the ceiling to see what's on the second floor, a decision he will remember forever. The first thing he notices are two sticks that have been formed into a hanging cross for some reason. <laughs> then to the left he sees the knotted rope. I did notice one thing about this creepy scenario. If this is an actual noose meant for hanging purposes, then it looks to be set the wrong height for someone to use on themselves. I'm curious to find out what you think happened in this room. To me, it unfortunately looks pretty obvious. Number 6 A ghost hunter named Solo Ambush goes exploring an abandoned morgue in the woods full of creepy things. The place has been deserted for years, but the smell of bodies has buried itself into the morgue walls. This table surface must be where they were prepared for burial. On it, he finds a needle to sew whatever shut. He puts it in his pocket, which possibly upsets the spirits because that's when the paranormal activity begins. He puts an object on the table and invites any spirits nearby to make it move. Hey, A defiant spirit moves things behind him instead. When he goes to investigate the noise, he finds nothing, and then he gets an idea. Okay, let's switch off the light. A figure in red silently passes across the floor of the haunted, abandoned mortuary with its head down. He runs after it and finds only the stench of decay is left in its wake, nothing else. He says this ghost sighting could be a reflection of light, but he is standing in a dark hallway with the lights off, so I'm not sure I agree with that one. Like many of the previously haunted places he's gone exploring in the past, what he's caught on tape in this building is most likely paranormal and terrifying. And as he leaves... Something slams the door closed behind him. The ghost hunter is no longer welcome to go exploring this haunted place. Not that he ever was to begin with. Number 5 A YouTuber named Nerdy Weasel goes exploring an abandoned house in his neighborhood with a ghost meter to see if it's really as haunted as people say. His first piece of paranormal evidence occurs while entering the old building when the ghost meter goes off by itself. Here, okay. As he and his friend look around, a paranormal feeling fills them both with a fearful uncertainty, followed by this scary moment. Bro, I don't feel safe right now, bro. So sh everywhere. Yo. Yo, I'm not tripping. There's somebody right there. I'm not tripping. There was somebody right there. You can even check the camera back. 
He thinks he's caught a ghost on camera, and even though his camera fails to capture it, I still believe this video because the ghost meter beeps as soon as he starts talking about seeing a creepy figure. Yo, I'm not tripping. There's somebody right there. I'm not tripping. There was somebody right there. You can even check the camera back. And also at 2 minutes and 30 seconds, if you look closely, a ghost orb floats by the doorway where he says the figure is. They get really freaked out and climb back through the window when the ghost makes an object fall from somewhere inside of the haunted house. They run back to the sidewalk and they laugh at the paranormal encounter through a fence, making the mistake of thinking they're safe. We're here at the... It's your boy, nerd, nerd, nerd. Go ahead, we're here at the Plantation Club Draft House. Just when they thought they'd gotten away, the ghost meter is pounded with paranormal energy and goes off like never before. It's not electronic interference either because the paranormal equipment had been relatively quiet until this scary moment. They try and dodge the ghost by walking fast down the block, but there's no outrunning the paranormal. Finally, it seems to leave them alone until about a block later when Nerdy Weasel feels a mysterious presence wash over them once more. First, he says he feels watched by an apparition, and then the ghost meter goes off. If it was the other way around, I'd be skeptical, but this sequence of events seems like they've really offended a spirit that is going to follow them for a long time. It looks like exploring this abandoned house has gone wrong for them in the worst possible way. Number 4 A YouTuber named Xander H takes a group of friends to an asylum that was abandoned long ago. They come across wall after wall of graffiti and begin to wonder if people could still be living in here after all. What's it say? They see you. That's like some anomaly. Dude, it goes upstairs. Let's go up here. Go. There's not much to find on the first floor besides lots of written warnings and an overall bad feeling. So they decide to head upstairs. Hey, that's just a lot of warning that you were paying here. They do two things. Look, look, Watch. So, walk. Oh, they don't even make it halfway before this happens to them. Something large and heavy stomps down the steps and sends the small group screaming for their lives. They don't get it on tape, but I still think this video is probably real, because each member of the group is clearly on camera when they hear the running footsteps. I think there is a good chance this video is real and that they were chased out, maybe even by something supernatural. Number 3 a YouTube duo called Alone and Afraid are ghost hunting in a haunted cemetery in Port Arthur, Texas. While scanning the perimeter, they barely manage to catch a moving shadow that has no reason to stand out, let alone step aside. Look again. At 26 minutes and 58 seconds, something, a shadow, is standing in front of a marker and then it moves away. The camera goes out of focus in the exact same area where they last saw the shadow's movement. Now, standing in the middle of the cemetery with only a flashlight on them, the two begin hearing scary noises coming from the darkness. She was asking for help. And I'm hearing stuff all around us. This place is just super, super I eerie. I would classify this as uh, extremely haunted. So, as promised, uh, we're going to come back. You're they hear approaching footsteps in the still night. Uh, we're gonna come back. But when they explore the area with their flashlight, a blurred camera is all they can see, like an invisible presence is standing near. Number 2 Two adventurous friends are ready to explore an old sewer tunnel, but they don't make it very far before a strange noise makes them turn right around and head back to the light. Where is it? They escape the tunnel safely, and nothing follows them outside. The obvious answer is that this was some kind of laughing sound effect that they edited in later, but to me it does sound like it was coming from a distance, as if it really was somewhere deeper in the sewer. 
I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? Because I upload four new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Timothy Bartlett is exploring a water park that's haunted by a former guest named Billy. Hi, is anybody here? Hi, Billy. I'm here. Things are about to get real creepy real fast. Watch. Could you move something again for me? Oh. Holy shit. A chair moves on its own accord upon Timothy's request for Billy the Ghost to move an object and prove himself to be real. Paranormal activity is possible, but the low quality resolution could easily hide a string if there was one. This was not done on purpose as the resolution is average quality for a 2012 phone camera video, so maybe it's real. 